Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be showing you how you can use a GIF file as a wallpaper on your Android phone. So for example, if you have a GIF file on your phone that it's based on you, that you did make from a video of you, or you have a GIF file of your favorite actor or something, and you want to make that GIF as your wallpaper on your phone. But unfortunately, Android devices doesn't support adding a GIF file as a wallpaper. But in this video, I will show you how you can do that. So let's get to it. As you can see, this is my Android phone and this is the wallpaper that I currently have on my phone. So the first thing I'm going to do because I don't have a GIF file on my phone, I'm going to access Google Chrome and download some GIF file on Giphy.com. So let's just search for example for Sunset because I think that will be good wallpaper for my phone. So let's just pick this one on the left. And also one thing that I want to tell you, keep in mind that you must pick some GIF file that's uh, uh, long in size. Because if you have a GIF file that's a square size or something and you want to make it your wallpaper on your phone, it will have black bars around it on your home screen. So make sure to pick some portrait GIF, not some landscape GIF file. Just like this one you see right now. This is, will be perfect for me. So by the way to download GIFs from Giphy.com all you need to do is click on the GIF you want and click hold and you will see download button just like you see on the screen right now. So let's just access our gallery to make sure it's there. Yes here it is, it's also downloaded as a GIF file. So the next step is go to your play store and download this application right here. It's called GIF Live Wallpaper. I will also put the link for it in the description. If you are watching this on your phone, just scroll down the description and click on the link. It will redirect you to play store and install the application. So once it's installed, click on open and it will ask you to give it permission to access the media on photos on your phone. Click on allow. So once you are on the application, click on this button right here to access the media and pick the GIF file that you want. And as you can see the GIF file is loaded into the application but it's small. All you need to do is zoom in on the picture and it will take all the screen just like you see on the screen right now. And make sure to zoom in on the GIF file until it covers all the area around the screen. You can also play with the colors on the GIF file if you want to change the colors on it. And also if you want to rotate the GIF to make it upside down or something just like you see on the screen. And there is also an option to speed up the GIF if you want to make it fast or something. In my case I'm going to make it slow because it will be good like this. So once you finish applying all the features that you want, click on this button right here. And it will open the GIF file and as you can see it takes all the screen right here because I did zoom in on it to make sure it covers all the screen. And there is a button at the top right corner it says set wallpaper. If you click on it it will set it as a wallpaper for your phone. Let's just click on it and this will give you two options the home screen or home screen plus the lock screen if you want to make this wallpaper on your home screen only or you want to make it for both home screen or lock screen so i'm going to go for just the home screen so the gif file has been set as a wallpaper let's just exit from everything and see if it works or not and as you can see it works just fine and as you can see it takes also the full screen there is no black bars or something just make sure you pick a GIF file that's long in size, not a landscape size, and it will take the full screen on your phone. So I think my job here is done. I hope the video helps you out. If it does, don't forget to help me out with pressing the like button and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching and see you all next time. Bye bye.